Welcome back, Vicarious viewers. Here we are at the finale of American Horror Story 1984. Um, this was a fairly short season compared to others, only nine episodes. Uh, but the story has been a lot tighter, there's been less filler, and I've really been enjoying it. Even up until the end, um, I don't feel like it's uh, kind of gone off course like a few of other, the other seasons have in the past. But uh, this one has been really enjoyable so far. But uh, let's just jump right into this episode. I am ready. Let's see the final battle commence. You know, part of me really hopes that Margaret dies in horrible fashion, but then she would be stuck there with everyone else. Um, so part of me thinks maybe she'll get away in the end, but then someone, some survivor will track her somewhere else and kill her in a different location, and her soul will not go on. Hopefully. Another song I gotta cut out. Looks like we can't go any further. You sure this is where you want to go? My GPS shows there's nothing up there. Oh, this guy. Where the access road used to be. Looks like I'll have to hike it from here. Thanks, I'll find it. What are you looking for? Camp Redwood. Wait, what? Oh, is this his son? Young Bobby. He did live. And the ghost of your daddy will be here. Hopefully your grandma doesn't want to kill you and keep you in the family. Hmm, a little foreshadowing. If they left everything up, I bet it was a slaughter. What's that? In your hand. Uh, it's my phone. That's not a phone. What year is this? Are you serious? It's 2019. After that shit show in 89, I began to notice a lot less people were coming into camp. You were forgotten. Something else must have gotten their attention. Now I know what. I'm sorry, were you even alive in 1989? And, and you said no. We, who, who else is here? Bobby. You're Mr. Jingle's son. <laughs> Called it. But come on, let's get back to 1989. I want to see the bloodbath. Now I'm starting to question, why even call it 1984 if half of the series isn't even in 1984? Why don't they call it, like, The Camp or something? Or just Camp. <laughs> you look just like... Oh, yep, that's me. It's a headshot I did for the aerobic studio. They put all the instructor's mugs on the wall. What's going on here? I'll tell you, but you first. What's going on out there? What's the music like? What do people do to stay in shape? Who's the president? Did Judd Nelson ever get his Oscar? <laughs> no. no. No, I don't think so. I was raised by my aunt. On her deathbed, she told me the truth about my father. I've also been receiving checks all my life sent anonymously. I think he's been sending me money all these years, and I just... Mm, yeah. I, I have to talk to him. Your dad's dead. Are you, are you sure? Because... I mean, the guy who worked at Video Shack is not the same killer that I've read so much about. Mm. Well, yes and no. Who was he? Yeah, we're all done. You're such a pussy. Come on! <laughs> oh, oh. Me, next, me next! Come on. Oh, come on. Oh! Yeah! Oh. <laughs> what is happening? What's going on? It's a long story. It was Halloween, 1989. There must have been some kind of mass massacre if all the scaffolding was still there. I'm surprised the recording studios didn't try to go in and collect all that. That shit's expensive. The talent was supposed to be here 45 minutes ago. We'll see to it that those contracts are executed, because if they aren't, huh. you will executed. be. But I was promised Billy Idol. If he doesn't show up, <laughs> we'd be very, very upset. Show is over. You are true evil. I'm shutting you down, Margaret. I am going to the authorities, and I am filing for divorce. People can run for me, but they never get away. I should have shot you when I saw you rolling around with that truck stop Cindy Lopper. You murderous bitch. 
Look around, Ding Dong. Truck stop, Sydney Lopper. Anymore. You're on the other side of the property line. So if you die here, dead is all you'll ever be. And you will never see that bitch again. Oh. Damn. Ugh. Thanks for nothing, fuckface. <laughs> well, and I should have died. But fate had other plans for me. You're not going to make it. Leave him alone! You already took my brother, don't you dare take the best dick that happened to me! <laughs> uh. Oh, Trevor! Oh! <laughs> Why would you help me? Because I'm not like you. It's okay, babe. You can go. You can go. You saved me, babe. Well, technically, Brooke did. <laughs> Brooke Thompson escaped death row. It was Margaret's bloodlust that we needed to end. Problem was, she was working with two very dangerous men. In my seven solo kill. Die, bitch. Bitch and stash, but I can't have you die in this property. You're gonna rot in the Angeles forest. Public land. Nice. Kick him off the property line. Hopefully he stays dead this time. Killing that asshole was easy. Ramirez was a different monster. Oh, so we don't get any, Freddy, like, concert bloodbath? Shucks. That's uh Get ready to lose your shit, babe. Because <laughs> Billy Idol wants to meet you. I know about the roadblock. I know that Idol isn't here. Daisy freaking made it through because Billy Idol is a survivor. You can't say rebel yell and not be a rebel. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> babe, sorry. Redemption, dick God. I'm gonna be the one to end you. Not supposed to be. Nice. Something tells me, uh, is the devil gonna bring him back again? I'll come back. I'll come back. Ramirez already died once back in '84, and the devil brought him right back to life. Ramirez was going to need to be under constant supervision. A literal death watch. There are over 40 souls here. We all take turns. <laughs> nice. Give me strength to devour. <laughs> oh, damn. <laughs> We're constantly coming up with new horrible ways to kill him. <laughs> We're doing this to keep you safe. So how does he make it to the Devil's Night Me. Dinner and Hotel the every year? He'd come for the son of Jingles. He swore to kill. I'm not leaving. Not until I find him. So what happened to Margaret? Oh, seems like he's taking longer to wake up. Probably got another round of Pictionary in. Really, they're gonna let their guard down on the day that like, uh, Bobby comes back. Loser has to strip. What are you afraid of? Keep an eye on Ramirez. Damn it. Oh, damn. He's already dead. It's a pointless fight. You're just like your dad. You fight like a pussy. Got a guy here in the lobby. Someone that needs your attention. Is it the shrink? Is it Donna? I knew your father. It is Donna. Shit. When they locked him up in here, they locked up an innocent man. Uh, there was so much evidence. Evidence planted by the real killer. And she almost got away with it. Almost. Is she in your asylum? Bitch! Oh, did she shoot her too? Aw. Damn. Damn. Ah, haha, -ha. foreshadowing. <laughs> I saw that blood. Shoot her over the property line. 
<laughs> so you were the last one. The final girl. Final girl. Thank you. I mean, for the money. I don't know what you're talking about. I never sent you anything. Hmm. Well, then there must be someone else who knows. Maybe you weren't the final girl after all. Did Brooke make it out? Why are you doing this for me? Who says I'm doing this for you? Her own curiosity. Who else made it out alive? She lived! What took you so long? <coughs> You're alive! I can't help you any further. You gotta get across on your own. I guess someone called from the camp payphone and paramedics got me to the hospital. We're the ones that got away. Yeah. You're going back to that camp, aren't you? Hmm. You do realize there's a satanic motherfucker that keeps resurrecting that wants to kill you, right? Hello. I'm sorry, did I scare you? Oh, this bitch. Is anyone really How? Anyone? Well, I guess technically the grinder was on that side of the properly line. You framed my father. Technically, I died a second before the chipper spit me out on the other side, so... But I've been hiding. And waiting. For what? You. To kill you! Fuck! She'll be back. We have to get you out of here now. Dad. I just had to come back and say thank you. You're about to die. You are worth it. I am the final girl. I am always the final girl. Take her. Go, Bobby. Go. Hmm. Okay. I was wondering if there's gonna be like one final scene or something. 1984 is over in 2019. <laughs> um, that was an interesting finale. That was not what I was expecting. Um, I was expecting. A uh, fucking concert blowout massacre, and I was kind of hoping for that, but they subverted my expectations. Um, I wouldn't necessarily say in a bad way. Um, it was still an interesting ending. Um, they found a way to bring his son back to the camp by jumping ahead to 2019 and having it come full circle, him getting his resolution to see his father and all of that. Um, Margaret did get a suitable end, um, but when they were throwing her into the wood chipper, I was all like, technically she's dying in the wood chipper, and that is definitely on this side of the fence. Um, but my suspicion was correct, and she did technically die on that side. Uh, but she may have avoided a good 30 years of torment, but I'm sure they have plenty of ways they can, uh, make up for it. When Ramirez keeps coming back, there's that, like, mist, so I wonder if... How does that work? Because it looks like the mist is, like, actually, like, healing him, so he is in his physical body still, and they keep killing him that way. But then, that doesn't make sense. How does he make it to the Devil's Night Dinner in hotel every year for Halloween. I mean, isn't that wasn't that him? Wasn't that Rudy Ramirez, the Night Stalker, in Hotel? I was pretty sure. Of course, he was played by an older actor in that. So, and technically, that took place before this last episode, which is 2019. If he's constantly being killed over and over and over and over there, how does he ever get out to the Devil's Night Dinner? That is a loose end in the American Horror Story canon, but that was interesting. I actually enjoyed this season throughout. I think they're definitely like coming back to par with their storytelling. Um, I hear it's been renewed for a 10th season, so I am intrigued to see what, what other storylines they will be exploring. Um, 
I keep wondering if they're just going to do a strict like alien abduction season, possibly. Because uh, I know that they touched on aliens in season two, Asylum. But it was kind of just like one portion of the overarching Asylum storyline. Um, they didn't really go into like how many deaths does it take to like throw a property over a tipping point? Like how many souls can occupy a property at once? Does something happen when it becomes too high? Note to the showrunners, I doubt they'll ever see this, but uh, maybe something to explore. We didn't get any Evan Peters in this season at all. I noticed that. So that was interesting. Is this like the first season that he hasn't actually been in? Or was he like some cameo that I missed or forgot from like the first few episodes? Hmm. Overall, it was a lot of fun. It was campy. It was over-the-top violence. But I really enjoyed it. Uh, this was a good season. I definitely enjoyed this a lot more than the past previous seasons. I mean, overall, every season has its like good points that I found. Um... Some seasons have kind of like fallen apart in the last third or quarter or maybe even the last few episodes. Uh, but this one really stuck through throughout. And even with some of their like changes in tone and uh, perspective, um, I think it was a very good cohesive overall story. Even if it didn't all take place during 1984. <laughs> I think I would throw this up there. I think my favorite seasons so far have been, of course... Uh, Murder House, Asylum, uh, Freak Show, and Hotel. So I think this one is up there among my favorites. Like I said, the other seasons have been good in their own way. A lot of them will have strong beginnings, um, but can't really keep it together at the end. Um, like the beginning of Coven, I loved, but the final two episodes, they just really fell apart for me and were very anticlimactic. So, I think that one could have ended so much better. Um, but anyway, I, I really enjoyed this one. So, this has me pumped again for to see what they have in the future. If they can come back to form like this, I want to see what they can do uh, with Season 10. But uh, let me know what you thought of this season down below. Did you like it? What didn't you like? What did you love? Um, let me know. For those of you subscribers that are sticking around for most, if not all, of my reactions, hopefully, um, after this one drops, I'll probably be diving right back into Mind Hunter. So if you want another dose of uh, your psychotic killers, we will be continuing that, but with a more, but a more cerebral and scientific approach from the perspective of those who hunt down the killers. Um, but yeah. Let me know down in the comments. Hit like and subscribe if you enjoy reactions like these. Ring that notification bell so you don't miss a single one. And thanks for stopping in for this vicarious view.